Hello designers, it's Sofia here and today I would like to talk about the golden ratio and its use in design. So what's the golden ratio? It basically exists when a line is divided into the two parts. Yeah, the line here. And the longer part A is divided by the smaller part B. And like this ratio is equal to the sum of A plus B with, and divided by A. And is both equal this number 1.618. So okay, and how we can use this in design? Like when we look at the picture, we can roughly estimate like that the longer part is around two thirds of the of the whole line, and like the shorter one is like one third. Okay, how we can use it? Let's have a look. Like maybe the easiest example how to um, Express this is the photo. Like, look at this photo. Like, why is it like so eye-catching and like why like good looking? Like the first thing we notice, like it's the horizon is in the position of one third. So it's definitely following the uh, the third rule ratio, the golden rule ratio. Also, if you look at this focus point here, where's the Pedal, it's almost like in the perfect position. It's like why why the picture is so eye grabbing. Imagine you you move the horizon in the central position. It's like much less appealing. Again, on this photo, like the center, the focus of the photo is here, and it's not in the exact center of the of the layout. So. Like the how the photo was cropped or taken, like we can see the center is somewhere somewhere close to the third, so that's why it's like so uh packaging again, like you have this puppy and or you want to crop the photo to look like more professional and more balanced, you just crop it, yeah, and it's instantly create like the focus point here and it has like some dynamic and it's more, much more balanced. Okay, so now move on to graphic design. So have a, let's have a look on these covers, like why the cover is like so mm, interesting and like so popping. So also like it's following the, the rule of thirds. As you can see, like the details are, or volumes are following like the spiral, if we can sketch it here, and also like the head is not in the center of the layout, but it's shifted to the right. Again, if we just apply the, the golden ratio here, we see how, how the details, how the letters are scaling down, and here, like, here it's like quite packed with the details, and here is that's why the, the focus point is also here, because like your eye will land here on this this position. Yes, and you can find this the rule applied also in architecture, like in this famous Florence Dome designed by Filippo Brunelleschi. It's like almost perfect. Like if you compare the the length and the place of the all the details, like yeah, it's like one of the best golden ratio architecture you can find. Okay, and now let's let's move on to the car design. So I was like thinking like, okay, like plus minus, like we all know, like these rules we apply, for example, while designing an SUV, but let's, let's repeat them. So you can see here, like we have the, the classical SUV proportions, the, the wheelbase is around three wheels, like the real wheel, wheelbase, what we call wheelbase is the distance between the center of the rear wheel and center of the front wheel, yeah, that's like the, like this is the wheel wheelbase, but yeah, first designers use like this wheel scale, so we can see here, here is around three wheels, it's like quite common in SUV segment. Also, if we'll have a look at the Overhangs like this rear one, this is around like two thirds or like almost like three 
quarter of the wheel and the front is like one half that's quite common and also when we look at the height of the SUV it's around somewhere around two wheels and one third or one quarter yeah so very interesting also things to notice or keep in mind while designing is the is the ratio between the greenhouse and the body size now let's have a look a line like this like this is around one third again and this is around two thirds which is quite interesting like to, to keep like this the graphical feature the graphic of the greenhouse if you compare it to the body set like just try to keep it around one third and two thirds like it will instantly make the car look like better actually also the the a pillar if we extend this line it's almost mm, every stv it's like crossing the the wheel but it's not hitting the center yeah somewhere in this around this area also another thing to notice is the position of the headlamps like usually the front headlamp is like lower than the the rear yeah and also what i've noticed like when i was like preparing this golden ratio uh video i've noticed like that uh, almost in in almost every segment you can find the the belt line and the belt, li belt line is almost in the position of the golden ratio which is which is quite interesting like if you move the this picture yeah you can you can see it's like yeah the belt line is declined but it's like following the, the golden ratio rule so that's also like to, to keep in mind while designing okay let's have a look at the sedan segment like the wheelbase is usually a bit longer than the suvs it's around like three wheels and one quarter and like the, the rear is usually longer it's around like three quarters of the of the wheel and the front is like one half and of course the height it's like much much lower it's around like two wheels and a bit and but again if we put the golden ratio here we can see it's like following the golden golden rule the rule of thirds so this is also like quite good to keep in mind and the headlamps are also like lower than the rear lamps okay let's move into the into the super sport segment or proportion okay so the wheelbase it is like it is around like three wheels usually can be can be more it can be less it depends um like the overhangs it depends like usually they are quite like even they are balanced balanced out but yeah it depends like it can be shorter it can like the rear can be longer and of course the height it's like super low it's like under the two wheels and yeah if we uh, apply the golden ratio again you see the belt line and like it's applying we can see like the rule of thirds here and i was like thinking like can i imagine like some stunning de design which instantly popped in my head which is following the the golden ratio and i was like yes like the the bugatti is doing this like here we had bugatti Dior 2019 and <clears throat> yeah it's like why the card looks so interesting why why it's like so strong why the designer that why the theme is like quite sexy so if you apply again the golden ratio rule you can see uh it's like following it almost perfectly yeah this is like the length of the car and you see like where is the greenhouse where is the window and it's like near the focus point and also yeah like it's packed with the details around here where is the, the focus point that's why and then i was like thinking like 
But yeah, but the Gran Turismo was like even more like striking. And you can see here is like even closer to the golden ratio. Yeah, so the theme is like even more prominent. And then I asked my students, like, can you like sketch a car which is following this rule? Like like or like, can you find the photos like which will uh, mm, show like the the rule of thirds or rule of golden ratio in praxis and like they send me like this and this is also like good example like the mercedes g is following this rule like if you compare the height of the vehicle and like the the tire you can see it's like it's almost perfect and also like if we compare uh, it's like length lengthwise you see like this is plus minus also like two thirds and this is like one third so it's also quite balanced car and like it's quite iconic in the same time again we can see it these mercedes like it's quite like simple design here but like what like the like the way uh how it express the volumes is like the main or like the attention grabbing volume is here and also it's one third and the rest of the car it's yeah around the two thirds and like then i have some sketches from my students like he was designing the suv and tried to apply the golden ratio rule here and you can see how the graphic how he di divided in into the in these two sections and it's like it's almost perfection yeah yeah you see it's really good sketch i have to say also, we can move to the industrial uh, design. So yeah, and like the first thing which popped in my head was like these rams and his like famous designs. And also like, why is this so appealing? Like, it's just like, it's like more like a graphical design. Like we know, like it's a three D object, but like why it's like so intimidating? And like you see, it's like it's almost a perfect golden ratio again here because he he didn't like split the graphics in like to, into the center of the of the radio but he yeah you see it's like two thirds one third again like his next design again we can see it here like the, the graphics the buttons they're not like in the central position again it's like he's following this rule and like the where the place where the buttons are like quite packed it's like the po focus point and it's like why it's so calm so balanced out like so good looking and yeah when i ask my students and they send me like more pictures you can see it here in this in this picture of this coffee machine you can find it even in the interior design in the yeah that's the spiral so naturally staircase also like many in, uh, interior designers are trying to follow this rule and you how do you can divide the, the space by using different materials textures textures colors like yeah that's like again it's a great example like the white space versus the the wooden details and like yeah, the details are like quite packed here so next example and you can also find it in um, uh in ms uh, MS chair like like why is it so appealing and so iconic like if you compare the, the length of the length of the car again it's like around one third to two thirds and then like also i ask my student to sketch some nice uh designs and follow the rule of thirds so here we have like the playstation console let's say and again, like the students, he decided like to use it like the rule of thirds. So yeah, we can see like the when he divided the the handles and the rest of the of the console into the two parts and into the one third and two thirds rule. And it can be applied also like horizontally. So we see like he put like the details and the, the buttons here around the, around the golden ratio so yeah 
Like I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Let me let uh, me know in the comments what do you think about the golden ratio in design. If you can, uh, like find some examples. And yes, yeah, subscribe. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, give it a thumbs down. I would like to know either way. See you. Ciao.